y'all welcome back to the channel your boy is back in oaxaca doing a little bit of last minute wedding and i wouldn't call it last minute wedding planning we're not getting married till next year so pretty ahead of schedule but um that's not why you guys are here you guys are here to um chat about some photography and uh look at some photos and explore oaxaca with me and uh so with that in mind i do want to hop right in and kind of talk about the gear i know uh it's very important to uh, kind of touch on gear, uh, specifically with these YouTube channels, because I, I know, kind of noticed the trend of what people are kind of trying to understand with these channels, with this photography channel. My specifically is what gear am I using, um, you know, what lenses, um, and kind of my reasoning behind using those. So on this trip, both Mexico City and Oaxaca, I've kind of gone in and out of uh, using both the Leica Q and the Leica M8. And if you've been following this channel for about a year now, um, you would know I just, I got the M8 back in July. So since then, and kind of my approach in general with new cameras is I kind of just, once I get something, I, I shoot with it kind of until it becomes, it feels like an extension of like my hand and I can just grab it, make quick photos and keep it going. And so, which is why I still have the Q, and uh, which is why I've kind of been rocking with the M8 as my second hand camera um, kind of everywhere I go. Also, the M8 looks like film. <laughs> and uh, again, if you follow the channel, you know how I feel about the CCD sensor. If you don't follow the channel, uh, this sensor is magnificent. It was like the last maybe the only sensor that Kodak made, don't quote me on that, but it is the last sensor I think that Kodak made. And I gotta say, man, <laughs> it looks like you're shooting a mix of Portrait 400 and like Ektachrome or Kodachrome, man. This thing is a, it's a dream when it hits. It has a ton of limitations, uh, specifically shooting down around at 100 ISO. I personally don't bump up uh, any higher than that. There's some photographers out there who shoot with the M8 who say that they go up to 640. Um, I've done that in a pinch. I don't feel comfortable doing it um, just because you kind of, your files get a little wonky pretty quickly. So um, kind of my approach uh, on this trip has been mornings. I get up every morning. Um, as you can see, Oaxaca, we're on this beautiful rooftop of my Airbnb and you get this beautiful pink purple sky as soon as you wake up in the morning and so it's very very hard to resist just walking right outside and making photos uh, as the sun kind of comes into the city and kind of spills on the buildings and the streets in the morning and i personally love shooting in the morning because of how quiet and this sense of seeing the city come alive every day um, it just works with my rhythm i think it works with the style of photos that i make um, and I found this really smooth niche of kind of getting up, kind of having this meditative walk, kind of collecting my thoughts, uh, just personal time to myself, and of course, bringing one of these cameras. And so what I've noticed though, is during the day, when it's nice and bright and sunny and beautiful, I'll take out the M8 for the day, leave the queue behind. And in the morning, when I know I might be working with some high ISOs, some 1600s, um, some 800s, you know, just kind of dealing with, you know, just a little bit darker sunrises. I'll take the cue out. So that's kind of been my balance and how I've kind of navigated through this, uh, through this trip, Mexico City and Oaxaca. Um, but the last thing I do want to mention is kind of the style to this video. I have been trying to balance uh, a mix of being present, also with trying to create a really cool YouTube episode to resonate with you guys, something that will inspire you, make you want to travel, make you want to make photos. And uh, you know, that's kind of my, that's kind of my driving point to creating these videos. And with that said, so let me wrap this up so we can get to get to some photos. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, guys, like a Q, like it made, these are kind of my go-tos. I really don't switch up a lot, I kind of stick to my guns. Let's go shoot in Oaxaca. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you at the end.
for this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed oaxaca through my eyes um, next week i'll be bringing you the mexico episode mexico city episode rather um, which should be a, probably a longer episode we covered a lot of stuff throughout that trip and i uh, kind of want to make sure that i spend a lot of time working on that one so hopefully i'll have that out for you next week now that i'm back in new york um should be ramping up episodes here pretty regularly the weather is warming up a little bit so i'll be back out there um, making some more photos around the city hopefully that kodak goal 200 comes in soon because i plan on doing an episode with jason really soon with that um, so anyway just stay tuned and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the channel i'll see you guys next week peace